Oh. What? I know what it is. What? Don't worry, I like surprise. For what? You know what. Okay, you don't think we're organising a surprise party for I you? I knew it. No, no, because we're actually not. You mustn't get your hopes up because it's not a surprise party. That's what my dad told you to say. <laughs> no care. Don't don't wind me up because it, it's it's not a surprise party. You need to understand that, yeah? Listen to me. No fucking party. Fine. No no party. Right. Come on. I've got a packet of Rolos in my pocket as well. Have I'll you? Give, I'll give you one every 50 yards. How about that? That's a nice little incentive for the donkey, isn't it? Yeah, all right. That's it. You're a good girl. Yeah. We better be careful, Karen. Why? All that over there is fox twins territory. Oh, no, because they only ever stay in those woods. And we're, we're going round, so we won't we not a chance of bumping into them really. All right. Everyone in the village knows about the fox twins. Basically over over the years there's been sightings in the woods of these two feral like men. Um, who walk on their knuckles on all fours. And witnesses say uh, they communicate to each other in their own language, which sounds like fox calls. And uh, whenever livestock goes missing in the farms around the village, they're usually blamed. And no one knows how they got here either. Yes, it's a fun story to hear down the pub in front of a roaring fire of an evening. And it's, it's funny how this kind of shared folklore can bring people together in a strange sort of way. But... Uh, do I believe in it? Absolutely not. I seen him. I seen him with my own eyes, me and Tyson. We was out in the woods early one morning and we seen him hunched over, eating what looked like some sort of an animal carcass. Couldn't believe it. It's terrifying. And then, in exactly the same spot, at exactly the same time, a week later, I saw an alien. My theory is that some dirty bastard shagged a fox and that fox ended up giving birth to some sort of fucked up man, fox twins. Um, there's actually only one dirty bastard I know around here that would shag a fox, and that's Len. I never done it with a fox. Morning. What the fuck? What? Stuck up gear. So rude. What, that guy? Yeah, he just ignored me. Who doesn't say morning when someone says morning? Who doesn't say it back? That's just weird. That's rude. Oh, just let it go. It doesn't matter. Oh, look how sweet them sheep are. Hello. Uh-uh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah! Just don't. Don't, don't. don't ever turn your back on them. Don't turn your back on the sheep. Uh, Carry on. Quick, 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 quick. Go, go, go. Uh, I got your back. I got your back. This is it. We're almost there. Right. Close your eyes. Three, <laughs> two, one. <gasps> Open! <laughs> there! Up there! Look! Oh, yeah! How good is that? It's great. It's really great. Happy birthday, Kerr. <laughs> Thanks, Kurtz. Oh, my God, what is that? What is that? What? There, look. There. I don't know. Is that like a tent or something? Shout, shout hello. Hello. Hello? Oh my Jesus Christ. What? what is it? Oh my God. What? Christ what? alive. It's 
just a great big dump in the middle of a tent. That's... That's just a badger shit in there. A badger? Yeah. Oh, OK. So a badger is just walking along, sees, sees a tent, goes, might as well have a shit in it, does his business, comes back out, zips it with his great big thumbs. Yeah, badger care. I know who's fucking done that. Who? Fox twins. Oh. I'm not scared of fox twins. I just like to sit them down and ask them plainly, look, guys, what is going on? Because this just got them completely out of hand now. You know, stop walking on your knuckles, stand up straight, be the best version of you that you can be. Get a job, even. There's a trolley boy who works at Tesco's, you know, who may as well have been raised by wolves. If he can get a job, you guys can walk it. Honestly, this guy's forehead is so large, you could project a film onto it. And that, that's not me being harsh. That he probably said that about himself. Isn't that right, Karen? Hmm? Nicholas. Toy boy? Yeah. Huge fucking head. Yes, there has been talk of strange goings on in the woods, ghost sightings and the like, but uh, they're never from particularly reliable sources. Oh, yeah, I believe in ghosts, all right. There's one in there. I live with the ghosts. There's a ghost in that house. He's like um, a Civil War cavalier with all the hair and the hat and all that. And uh, every time I walk in the living room, he doffs his cap. And on his shoulder, he's got this crow that barks at me. It means I spend less time in the house, really. Not because of him, because he, he's, he's quite peaceable. But the crow is malevolent. And I'm not having that. I can't share my house with a malevolent bird. No way. I ain't walking through there. Why? Why? Look at it. What's wrong with it? It's just, it would literally be a 20 second sprint. That's haunted as fuck. Am I going mad here? Or does that to you look like that's where just ghosts would hang out all the time? Well, it's either walk through there or walk up that. Up to you. Oh, I just walked down there. Right. This is it. This is the Bowls Club. My empire. I meet Colin, he's our newest member, ain't you? Been here for a couple of weeks, he's getting picked on first week, weren't you? A little bit. But, um, yeah, you're settling in well, all right? Yeah, a couple of the older members have been nasty, but we stamped that out. All right, gents, you good? I've been working here since last month. There's a job going here, and the vicar made me apply for it. And at first, I was like, fuck this, because it's full of old stinkers. But actually, they're all right once you get to know them. As long as you don't mention foreigners or self-service checkouts. Because they really don't like either of those things. And they will make sure they let you know about that. All right, girls, you behave yourselves? Yeah. yeah? Any empties? Yeah. Well, hands off, Wendy. Don't think half of you are happy if you saw that. Talk of a devil. Usually half her. Yeah. I'm enjoying it, actually. Uh, I, I really didn't think I would, but yeah, it's going really well. So don't tell my dad I showed you this, yeah? But this is what I've been storing here. Well, about a week ago, right, my dad sat me down and he said, Care, how do you fancy going into business with your old man? Like, renting a lockup out and letting me store my wares in it. And I just, like... I thought I was going to cry. But it wasn't because I was sad, it was because my whole life I've been telling people one day me and my dad will go into business together. And people were like, Kerry, it's never going to happen. You know, get your head out of the clouds. This is getting absolutely heartbreaking now. But I just knew in my heart and I never let go of that. So my dad's got a mate called Spud who works in a Dyson factory and all of these were going to get thrown out. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with them, see? They're all tip top. So my dad basically takes them off his hands for a small fee, and then I store them here, and then he sells them on for a higher fee. So just, you know, everyone's laughing. Such a small idea for a business. Oh, you see this guy here? Right, he had an action man surgically removed from his ass, no word of a lie. 
and he told the doctor, oh, as I was coming out of the bath, I slipped on the bath mat and I fell on it. And the doctor said, oh, that's funny, because why is there a condom on it then? And he just went like this. I mean, what can you say? Odd. Pretty tight this game now. This is Vickers go, so. Come on, Vix. This is it, son, you can do it. <sighs> he's fucked it. Unlucky Vix! Yeah, he's he's absolutely fucked it there. Yeah. <sighs> he's fucked it for the entire team. They won't come back from that now. So disappointing. If I had it my way, I'd just haul him off. Haul him off, wouldn't even talk to him. I am absolutely thrilled. He's doing so brilliantly well. He's, he's a different lad. He's responsible. He's in control. I think he's found his calling Bit, uh, and everyone. Sorry, mate. You still got your bowl shoes on in the bar area. Oh, oh goodness me. I'm away with the fairies. Sorry. It's a bit annoying, actually, because it's not the first or second time I've had to tell you, really, is it? No, no sorry, yeah. Curtin. It's all right, as you were. So, as you can see, I mean, he's very... Really because, you know, people look up to you and if they see you doing it, they're going to they're think it's all right for them to do it. And that's, you know, that's when it gets absolutely bloody bananas in here. Yeah. All right. Understood. As you work. Anyone here lost a hearing aid? No? No one's going to claim it. It's going to go straight in the bin. Lost property, my policy is a 10 second rule. Right, in the bin it goes. If it's not claimed after 10 seconds, just dump it in there. Kerry's mum. What's she want? What have I done? Oh, fuck it, I'll answer anyway. Hello? 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 You all right? Hello? Hello, can you hear me now? Well, you rang me. Yeah, what, what, what is it? Well, I just got a call from a police there. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they said you carry it to the police station. Oh, shit. Why? Why? Uh, well, there's a Martin. Oh, Martin. I said it was dodgy, didn't I? All right. Yeah, all right. Uh, I better go then. I better go then, Sue. No, I'm just saying I better go then. Yeah, the connection's bad. That's fine. OK. All right. Yeah, I'll let you go. All right. Hello? I can say I'm going to go. Oh, fuck it. I just... Fuck. Mine. Yeah, I said it. I said it from the start, it was dodgy. It just whiffed or dodgy. I bet... Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah? Hello? Hello? Yeah, you all right? Hello? Hello? Oh, right, uh... Yeah, fuck it. I, got, I better go and call the vicar. Can you give me two seconds, yeah? OK, Kerry, thanks for coming in. Um, just to confirm that you've been cautioned and are entitled to free legal advice, which you've declined, can I ask why? Because I ain't doing anything wrong. Can I also say, as my human right, you have not asked me if I want a glass of water, and I am legally entitled to that as well. OK, would you like a glass of water? No. But thank you for asking me. That is correct conduct. OK. So... We have evidence to suggest that your father, Martin Mucklow, has been involved in the transportation and storage of stolen goods from a factory in Malmesbury. And it's our belief that he's been using you to store them in a lockup rented out in your name. No, because they ain't stolen. They're being thrown away. It's like, you know, you know the tea rooms in town, where if they, like, can't sell all their paninis in the day, they just put it in a bin bag 
and they put it outside the shop for the homeless and foxes, and sometimes badgers get in there. Okay, Kerry, I need you to appreciate the, the, the significance of this situation, okay? Yeah, but also, have you ever seen the Raggy Dolls on CBBC? Mm. Because that's very similar. It's like if the dolls, if they're not in full working order, like their arms and their legs and that, they should have all their limbs, and these don't have their limbs, so they get thrown away into a thing. And that's very similar to the Hoovers, because the Hoovers are very much like the dolls, because they also want to find love in homes. Look, I know you're trying to protect your dad, but you have to tell us the truth. I am telling the truth. My dad's not a criminal. When I think of Kerry Mucklow, I think of someone who is very loyal and very, very stupid. So, more stupid than loyal. Sort of 70% stupid, 30% loyal, probably. Because she's very loyal, but extremely stupid. <laughs>